Former One Nation adviser Sean Black will spend more than two years behind bars for raping and assaulting his former wife. Black was today sentenced to five years jail, suspended after 27 months by a district court judge who said he had shown no remorse for his attacks 11 years ago. From the corridors of Canberra to the Queensland correctional system, Sean Black's life in politics in the public eye has come to a crashing end. He'll now be in prison for at least two years. District Court Judge Glenn Cash sentenced Black to five years jail for raping and assaulting his then wife Tanya in 2007. A suspended sentence means Black will serve 27 months behind bars. Judge Cash said Black had shown no remorse for violence against the mother of his two children and it was concerning Black had twice assaulted her when their infant son was in her arms or nearby. When Black said she bruised easily, she replied he should stop hitting her. This enraged him and he dragged her by the hair out of the shower and raped her. That night he told her it wasn't rape because she was his wife. It was clear you were willing to use violence to dominate the relationship. No man has any excuse to treat a woman in this way as if she was property to use as you see fit. The Crown said the attacks were serious enough that his ex-wife sought medical treatment. He is an insightless and unrepentant rapist still. Sean Black's barrister told the court that conviction was enough to destroy his career and devastate his young family. His current wife came with their baby to support him in court. Black worked for former One Nation Senator Malcolm Roberts for five months after he was charged. A source close to One Nation told the ABC he was still working for the party just months ago, a claim One Nation denies. Tanya's victim impact statement details ongoing trauma and distress, including from the trial itself, which the judge said is not surprising. She's waived her legal right to anonymity to speak out to the ABC about the need for better protections for rape victims giving evidence. It tears them apart. They're the ones who's put on trial because the defendant isn't compulsive. It's not compulsory for them to be cross-examined at any point. They can just sit there and watch. Hours before black sentencing, Tanya wrote to the Queensland Attorney General to appeal for a full inquiry into how the justice system handles sexual violence. Josh Robertson, ABC News, Brisbane.